All right, welcome back to another episode of the Song from Scratch. So uh, what did we do in the last one? I think we made this drop here, right? I added some stuff that I muted very quick. Let's just play what we made, and then I'll show you what I added and explain what we did here and why I did that. So let's go with the uh, playing the drop first. <laughs> All right, and so the stuff I added was some extra layers to kind of make it sound a little more full. So I have some different hi-hat patterns. So uh, this is our original one up here. You can see I chose this one because it has a lot of high end to it to kind of fill up the, uh, the treble and the transients up in the high end. And then I just added these two down here to give the song a little bit more movement. They're kind of like offbeat and have this shuffle to them. So that kind of helps with that whole section of the song. And then I kind of added these saws underneath to um, match the key of the song. That just helps fill up some more space. And then uh, adding some pads will always help fill up space as well if you're finding that your song just sounds empty. So I have more pads that I added in here. And this one as well. I'll show you where I cut them at. We go here, this is channel 32. So you can see we cut them at around 226, so that's actually quite low for a pad, but I think I did that because I wanted to keep the low end and kind of help fill up the headphones a little bit more. So all together, uh, this sounds like this now. <laughs> So right here, I know exactly what I want to do, which is some sort of saw fill. Uh, now, how we're going to do that is uh, we are going to kind of experiment. I'm picturing kind of three chords. There's a song from Disdain called Suit Up that has that three chord hit in it at some point in the drop. And I really wanted to kind of reference something like that all right so this is what i'm referencing right here let me see if i could just like bleed it in with the volume so i don't destroy your eardrums <laughs> so that part right there so uh, i was very much inspired by something like that I think that's the closest I'm going to get to what I'm trying to do. This is really, really difficult to find exactly what chords those were. I'm going to go with that, though. That that sounds... Uh, let's just add some uh, nice OTT to it so it's a little bit sharper. But uh, this is, I think, the closest I'm going to get. And let's not add any delay on that is this even in the right key that's what i'm wondering okay i think it is um which is good but i would like it to be a little bit more like Funky is the word I'm going to use. So I'm going to add uh, some stops in it. So kind of like a dun, dun, dun. So a little bit of staccato in there. Kind of like this. Dun, 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 dun. I think maybe like that. And then... We'll probably continue. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste the drop. I don't think we're going to use the same pattern, 
but I do want it to at least continue right back into what it was doing after this chord. So let's put this chord somewhere. All right. So what I mean was, um, I originally cut out these, uh, bars 77 to 79 and put the chords here, but that is not how it actually works. It actually just restarts itself. So we have the two chord break right here. And then it actually just goes right back into the drop again, just goes right back in, repeats itself. So, um, I think I want to add some bass notes in here like this and kind of give it a little more bass. It, this will actually become much louder. I just realized because I didn't side chain it. And, uh, you know what? I think we could do something cool. I think we could put a flanger and an LFO tool on this to give it some weird motion. Um, and I'm going to, uh, automate the depth and the mix level over here. So set it to zero and then create automation clip. And then I'm going to add an LFO tool that, uh, swoops up really, really fast. And then goes right back to uh, its regular notes in whatever time signature we're in here, which is probably going to be quarter notes or something like that. So uh, I'm going to set the depth to one, and then we're actually going to use the mix level to control this. And then uh, this is a cool thing about FL Studio for third-party plugins. If you want to edit things like this, but you notice you can't right-click on it and create an automation clip, well, what do you do? This is how you edit it. So you uh, move the knob so that FL Studio recognizes that's what you're tweaking, then go to tools and then go to last tweak parameters and then you can create an automation clip that way. So now we can edit our frequency. So I'm going to kind of increase this like this uh, very, very quick and then have it return back to normal. And same thing with the mix level. So it kind of needs to slope like this because this right here is probably already um, quarter notes. So uh, we're going to kind of slope it a little something like this because uh, we want it to be heard and then just have it uh, whatever slope off at the end. So um, this is our depth level for the flanger. So. Uh, I want this to be really, really kind of strong right where that peak is. Same thing with this. And this should have a pretty <laughs> interesting sound. Let's see what it ended up becoming. All right, so that is pretty cool. Uh, we do need to actually make this sound more like smooth. All right, let's add uh, some transitions in here. So um, I'm just gonna kind of grab an assortment of different risers and stuff to uh, just make this kind of swell into each section a little bit better. So I use this one quite a bit. Um, which sounds like this. Well, it's very high pitched because I just stretched it. So we'll reset that. And then I'm going to add an ambient reverb on it. And that should help swell into that over there. And then I'm going to go and I actually have this um, pretty intense impact that has a clap on it. Not that it sounds way different than that. <laughs> it actually, it sounds more like this. And that just kind of helps um, transition sections a little bit more smoothly, even though we have that harsh sound. So I'm just going to EQ some low end out of it. And then this should uh, transition much nicer. Now I'm actually going to add one over here as well at the start of the drop. All 
right. Uh, so now let's make this cord actually have like some base underneath it. So it's a little bit um, stronger. And I'm going to show you how we're going to um, transition that. Uh, maybe we don't need the bell in here. I feel like, is that just adding too much? Oh, well, the pad, that could definitely be causing a problem. I'm not so sure I'm sold on the flanger, so I'm going to get rid of it. I feel like it's just a little bit too much. But the LFO too. And I think we just need some more sounds uh, to transition that. So I'm thinking of a virtual riot one that's very harsh. I think it's that one. And I just want to stretch it so that it's kind of fitting in this space right here. So kind of like this. And then just reset the pitch. All right, that's pretty good. And so we'll just uh, EQ that as well so that we don't, uh, you know, take up that much space. And then uh, I wanted to add a crash there as well. So we'll have to find one of those and then just something like that. Very uh, subtle, but it helps because we have a lot of high end coming in during that sweep right here. There's a lot of high end. And so we want to like fade that stuff out for your ears to kind of, you know, transition from a lot of high end into not a lot of high end. Uh, what else do we have here? I wanted to add a crash. So I'm thinking of an acoustic one, which is in the demo projects. It's in here and I believe it's at the bottom. That one will do. It's not that loud. Um, and so I'm just going to put a very small amount of OTT on it and kind of boost the high ends more. So we kind of get this sound. And then I'm just going to reverb like this. So you can hear it became more stereo. And then we'll just cut out the low ends here because we don't need any of that. All right, and so that should sit nicely underneath. I think there might be too much reverb, to be honest with you, so I'm gonna turn it halfway. And uh, let's see how that transition works. All right, interesting. I think it works well. Uh, I do wanna experiment with putting a really strong um, old school FL studio style piano underneath it. Uh, and if you're wondering what the heck that means, I'm going to show you in a second. So just very sharp sounding is what I was going for. I think that's going to work, uh, pretty nicely. <laughs> Alright, so now to uh, make a variation in the drop, we are going to add uh, what I like to call a flutter, which um, that is not what it's called, but that's just what I call it. Um, and essentially what that is, is we're going to do the same thing with uh, the LFO tool that we did over here this automation on the LFO, and we're gonna do that for uh, certain notes. So I'm thinking this note right here, whatever this is, so that's a G. I don't know, some sort of seventh or ninth chord, and we don't really want that. We want it to sound a little more unison, so. All right, I think that's a little better. 
And so what we're going to do is add that to the mixer and of course add, give it its own channel. Get rid of this delay in here because we don't need that. And then go to uh, go to this. <laughs> and then I should have a preset for this already, which is just 16th notes. Probably, no, that'll be too fast. Maybe this. All right, so that's the right idea. We just need to make it faster. All right, so you can see I kind of changed that there to be a little softer, and so we're going to add that. Uh, right here, I think, is where I want that note to sit. Something like that. Uh, we'll see how it ends up sounding. Alright, so it's pretty good. I think it just needs to be quieter. It's time to add a funky lead. So we have that uh, little marimba there, which is definitely suit up inspired, but I would love to add some sort of synth that just kind of goes nuts. I just realized as well, this chord, did I, yes, I did. Oh, oh my God. I almost just threw up. What the hell was that? Okay. So there's this virtual riot. Pre what is this here? That might work. Wasn't what I was going for, but I might use that one. Okay, let's just, uh, I'm just going to add a preset channel I have for this lead called basic lead, which will just make this louder. That's all it is with OTT. We've been over this in the first episode. If you want to learn how to do that stuff, nice and easy, just a little bit more compression on it. So now we have this thing. Try that. So I think I'm going to make a clone here and just change up the notes a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick with that for now. It's a little weird. This is not the usual style that I make so I don't really know how much I love this song <laughs> but it's it's interesting to say the least I think you can learn something from it whether or not I'm going to release it I don't know uh, but uh, let's go to this here and I wanted to copy and paste the lead notes and put them in here on this lead So I'm going to take this last note and I'm just going to pitch it down. Uh, so we can set this to, uh, well, I'm going to set it to 24 actually, because we're going to slide this down like crazy. So uh, we can go to the tools for the pitch bend and uh, we're going to have to fix it here in a second because we want to make sure that this gets set back to 50%. So 0 0.5. Okay, that's 50. And so we're going to keep it at 50 up until... Uh, oh, I forgot to copy that value. Uh, up until right at the end here. We're just going to go down like this.
All right. I love how suit up has a flute. So I want to add a flute. <laughs> so we are going to use a uh, flex to do this. All right. So let's load in a lovely little flute here. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, so let's go to flex and, uh, you can, I didn't mention this the last time we used this, so I figured I should probably mention this. If you own, um, FL studio, you should have flex and you can actually go to the free tab here. And there's all of these like, uh, different packs that you can download. Uh, this is basically, if you know what contact is, flex is kind of like FL studios contact. It's just a sample library synth. So there's all of these different things that you can download. Like you can see there's stuff from seamless R in here and whatnot. And so that's how I got like these essential guitars, pianos, strings, winds. And so we're going to use the winds to uh, use the flutes right here. So I think staccato is what I want for this. And we are just basically um, going to create a melody out of this patch. These hits are, I think, is where I'm going to line this up. I think it's something like that. Should give it a nice sound. It's got reverb on it, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm just going to, I think it needs a little bit, but I'm going to turn it quite down. That's much better. So let's add that to the side chain. And now we can, uh, I'm just going to mute everything but the four things I want to hear because uh, we're, we're going to write this melody while we're listening to it. That's a pretty decent drop there. I want to clone this piano and I want to put it at the end. And uh, I think I have an idea of where I want to go with this next. Uh, we're just about ready to round off the episode here, but I did want to do this uh, one last thing, which was the piano. So this guy. And then I think we're going to end on that chord. Maybe actually, you know what? We should probably do. Let's just do the whole chord as well. I feel like it's fine if we do the whole thing. Um, but we're going to extend this chord and kind of just have this note play out for a while. And so we'll just clone that onto the piano we made. So we'll have this. And then we'll do some like weird pitch automation thing like what we did over here. And then we'll start um, probably the verse or the break. Uh, so I think next episode is going to be the intro and the build up. That stuff usually doesn't take all that long. Um, the drop is usually the thing that I end up working on the most. Um, but this is a pretty decent transition and we have like a nice little, um, well, what would be kind of like 18 bars now. <laughs> it's kind of taking a weird shape uh, with that break in the middle. But let's play from the top. Let's listen to what we have and uh, we'll see how it ended up turning out. So that's where we are. Uh, I think I'm going to end it off here. That was about an hour and a half worth of work. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. That way I know to continue working on these. Leave a comment as well. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We're very close to 2,000, so I wanted to say a quick thank you uh, for that. It means a lot. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.